in a grade 12. So now I'm working through an example of our past IEP paper 2. I'm going to be working on question 2, the Loki and the mechanism. Mark allocation is 15 and we will try and complete this in the 15 minutes so that we can finish the CAM and the locus within a 40 minute time frame. Here is my example. Now again there are similar shapes that they have given. They have got a circle that is rotating clockwise so we can get some marks on the board here by saying that that is rotating clockwise we put the direction arrow in. Secondly, because the whole purpose of a locus is to work out what it look, the shape will look like as it rotates, we would be putting in divisions for each point here. On this side, we've got the semicircle. There's the clue and hint that they've given us. And then we've got the rod that's going to change position each division that it moves and we then are trying to work out where this end point will be point P so with this mechanism again there's my circle and we're going to put in our divisions and then later on we've got our semicircle here so we can plot our other points here I put in my divisions and I'm going to just label those now it doesn't matter which direction you really label them I've just labeled them in the same direction as our rotation it doesn't make a difference put in your start time so I'm going to start here at 3.10 I need to be finished by 3.25 what I want to do is take my compass and set my compass to my distance of BC because these are the two aspects that remain the same so that distance of BC will stay the same and I need to work it out as it rotates along this semicircle and each point changes so my first point here is point one so what I'm going to do is take my compass and mark off and here would give me point B1 now I'm going to just check the distance here of point P to C and when I check that distance that distance is 35 so what I'm going to do now is line up B1 with C1 and then extend it 35 there is my point and there is point P1 Next, I repeat the process. So I go to point 2 and I mark off point 2, label point P2. I then draw the line from 2 to C2 and I extend it that distance of 35. gives me point P2 I repeat the process from my next point 3 there's point 3 mark it off that gives me point B3 line up B3 
to C3 and then extend it 35. And that gives me point P3. Go to point 4. Mark off point B4. Line up point B4 with C4. Draw the line and extend it a distance of 35, and that gives me point P4. Sorry, P4. Next point is point 5. Line up point C5. Draw my arc to give me point B5. Line up B5 to C5. And then extend it to give me point P5. There is point 6. Draw my arc. That gives me point B6. Line up point B6 with point C6. And extend that line. give me point P6 point 7 mark off where B7 is join up the line from B7 to C7 and then extend it 35 I mean that point is Gives me point P7. Point 8. Draw my arc. That gives me point B8. Draw in line B8 with C8. Extend that line. And that gives me P8. And this is the highest point, I think. Nine. Sorry, that's B9. Line it up with C9 and extend it 35, giving me point P9. Here is B10. Line up B10 with C10. Extend it to 35. And it's P10. My last point here is 11. And it is B11. Join up B11 with C11. And extend your point 35, there is P11. So if we check our points, there is P0 and P12. Here is P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And back to the start point. Now, if you've got a French curve or flexi curve, that would be a nice way to join them. Otherwise, try and get a nice curve and draw that in freehand.
so if we just check through things here so construction I've done pizza slices and I've projected to my semicircle so I feel I've done my construction I've plotted my 11 points and have I drawn my locus yes and there is my answer for the 2022 IEB final the mechanism our finish time here is 318 so I have saved seven minutes that I can hopefully use in another drawing.